Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a Steam group. Uh, so you can create groups to basically organize events for specific games, uh, have groups of friends in one location and for a number of different reasons. So what we want to do is go ahead and open up Steam and log in to our account. And then once logged in, we want to go and hover over our username uh, at the top of the Steam bar there. And then once there, we'll go to groups. It should be somewhere in the middle of the drop down menu. And then once under the groups options here, you'll see if you are a part of any groups or you have any groups created, but you probably don't, hence why you're watching this video. And then what you're gonna want to do is under the groups tab here, go to create group. It should be somewhere near find a group. And then once we're here, we have a couple of different options presented to us. Now, uh, the group name is pretty self-explanatory. Just type in the name that you want to give your group and then click the check availability option there. And as you can see, this group name is available. Now, the abbreviation uh, is going to be like a, a little tag that comes up uh, next to your username on like leaderboards and things like that within the group. Uh, we'll go ahead and create one now. Same thing goes here, just click the check availability button there. If it is taken, you'll see red text that's very harsh actually, letting you know that it's already been used. So find one that is available, and then once you've done that, you will see uh, something that says group link. So as you can see here, it's going to start with steamcommunity.com slash groups slash. This is going to be the URL that you send folks uh, to make it easy for them to join the groups. So make sure it's something that you can remember pretty easily. And once again, go ahead and check for availability. And then lastly, you'll want to check the public group box here if you want folks to be able to join it just publicly. So if you want this to be a private group, you keep this unchecked. So what this means is that if you keep this unchecked, uh, you can send this link out to the folks that you want to be able to join the group, but people who are publicly on Steam cannot just go to this link and join. But if you do check this, obviously they will be able to. So go ahead now and click the green create button there. And then once you're good to go, you can see that you have a group link, abbreviation, and the group name. Go ahead and click create once more, and your group has now been formed. Now, it will automatically take you to uh, the edit page here where you can edit different things about your group. Uh, but if you need to know how to get back to this page here, you'll just go ahead and hover over your username once more, go to groups, and now under groups, you're going to see that group that you just created, and then just click on the visit admin page button to the right there. So under this little edit page here where you can customize your group, you're gonna have a lot of different options. I'm not gonna cover any of them too uh, in depth here, but basically you'll have like a headline, like what's the motto or tagline for your group. You'll have a summary, like this is a group of, you know, the class of 2005, whatever you want the summary to be. And then you'll have your custom URL that you can change once more here. Uh, you can have your language, you can have your country option here. All of these are drop down menus, fairly, you know, simple. Uh, then you'll have associated games. Now, let's say this game uh, is going to be Fall Guys. So, so we're going to have Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout to be our game. Or you can just leave this blank uh, to have just a generic group without any specific or specified game. Then we'll have our avatar. You can download something off Google Images or find a logo or create one yourself. And then you can upload these here. Just make sure as far as sizing goes, they are either 184, 64, or 32 pixels accordingly and you just choose the file upload like you normally would and then we'll have our different websites do we have websites that we want to associate with our steam group if you do say you have a forum or something like that you can title that and put the url right here and then just click the green button that says save changes and now you're you're good to go in order to invite people to your group you just copy that steam group url that you created before if you want to you can go back to uh, the groups tab here like we did here and then we can go to the actual public viewing of this group and you can see now Here's our group, we have new discussions, we have different comments, we have administrators as far as group members down below. And again, all of the admin tools will be over on the right hand side as far as managing group members and things like that. If you have any questions about how to do any of this within the Steam group options or tabs, please put those in the comment section down below. And as always, if this video tutorial helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great tech tutorials and tips just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.